275 million dollars is what the global camp furniture industry is valued at. And it all started in 1855 with the Tripolina chair, but it wasn't a rise straight to the millions. That first company was bankrupt just 24 years later. So here we are almost 200 years later with at least that many options. What? So how do you choose which is best for you? Let's take a page out of the Goldilocks story. But rather than only one that is just right, let's pick a small, medium, and large to look at. Ah, the Great Indoors. It has taken me over 40 years to find the best camp chairs, and now while I might not be 40 yet, with my level of laziness and lounge expertise, I've been able to grow my experience much more quickly. I think we're all tired of this basic chair. The only reason they're still around is they're super cheap, and we all want to pull off that move like Jason Momoa. Woo! So I need options, and one chair that'll cut it in one situation just won't work in another one. We'll start with the largest chair, which also is the priciest, but we'll call her Big Blue. So what are the pros to this chair? Now, first and foremost, it's large and comfy. Second, it can recline all the way, which is awesome for firework shows or stargazing. So next up, you've got a side table, which detaches and attaches in the front. It has a permanent arm always fixed on the back and it slides under the chair. It's just enough to hold a little something and a drink. And next up, we've got this head pillow, which can actually slide all the way down if you want some lumbar support, or if you're like four inches tall, they've got that figured out for you. But you just raise that to whatever height you want, and there you go. Now the cons. Mainly, this is a large chair, obviously, so it is heavier to carry and takes up a little more storage. And this is not mesh anywhere, so it is not a very breathable chair. So if your back is sweating or something like that, you're not getting a whole lot of relief in this chair. Next is my personal favorite, this rocker. It's the medium chair, and we'll call this medium blue. Daba di daba di. Sorry. So the pros of this chair, it is very comfortable. Obviously, it's a rocker. It does have a cup holder. It's a little bit smaller on storage. They've got a couple handles built in for easy transport, easy setup and takedown. But the cons, you could barely call this padding on the armrest. No table. The chair is not super deep. It comes to about mid thigh on me when I'm all the way back. Last up, we have our small chair selection. Now this exact one is not available anymore. I checked while I was prepping for this video, but I will link the closest one in price and style to this one that I would buy if you'd like to check one out. And we'll call it Little Blue. Bet you didn't see that one coming. The pros are it's lightweight, super small, hardly takes up any space, and it is pretty comfortable. You can kind of lean back, it just cradles you. It's kind of nice, actually. It does have a little bit of mesh, not on the butt, but on the upper back and a little on the sides. And the cons. It is a little bit tedious to set up and take down. You're not as stable sitting in it, and it sits low. But whatever you decide to get, just make sure to get at least two so it doesn't look like you're sitting alone in the woods. We got helicopters, we got cars, we got hikers, we got dogs, we got a river. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Just trying to film a video here. Yeah.